Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl at the Rincon. If it's your first time here, welcome. So today I have, sorry, there's the ambulance. I've been hearing that gosh darn ambulance so much lately. It's driving me crazy. Obviously this all is happening during this crazy time, this whole quarantine thing. Um, as of late, it just got extended an additional 30 days. Now I'm not here to talk about any of that. And to be completely honest with you, I am on here to distract myself just because every time I turn on the television or get on the news or something, somebody's posting something about it. And I just want to come on here and have some fun with you guys. Now, with this whole ordeal, I've been doing a lot of like cleaning and decluttering and I started in my closet. So I got rid of a whole bunch of things, went through my hats. I went through my shoes, shoes that I just haven't worn in years. I got rid of, I donated them, or I actually gave them away to a family member who appreciates and loves when I give them clothing. Um, I went through my jackets, I went through my sweaters, I went through my cardigans, I went through so much already. And to be completely honest with you, I'm extremely happy that I went through so many things just because it feels so good to declutter and get rid of so many things that we honestly and truly do not need. Which brings me to my next thing, my bathroom. So in my bathroom, I don't share my bathroom with anyone really. Like I have one roommate, he's got his own bathroom. I have my own bathroom. Uh, with that said, I get rid of my, I get, I get ready in my bathroom every day or you know, when I actually get ready. Uh, so I have so much stuff everywhere in my cabinets, um, underneath the sink, like I have so many things and I just, started decluttering that again, getting rid of nail polishes that are old and I no longer need. And I do have a whole bunch of nail polishes for my toes and stuff. And since all nail salons are closed, I do have some backup stuff for my nails. So as soon as these babies fall off or start breaking off, I'm gonna start painting my own for a little while, it looks like. Okay, so the real purpose of this video is to kind of show you some hidden treasures that I have found today while I was starting to declutter and I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of my favorite items that I've had in my drawers for a long time and I've just kind of been neglecting and I want to start reusing them. So number one reason being is that I don't have any need to be spending money on makeup right now or anything like that, especially because I have so much stuff stored away. There are things that you're always gonna have to repurchase like foundations and powders and things of that nature. But when it comes to like eyeshadow palettes, like it kind of hit me in a certain way that I was looking at all these palettes that I have and I'm like, some of them look so much alike. And some of them I've only used a few times. So I'm gonna show you the palettes that made the cut and you probably have similar stuff like this. So let me show you kind of why I chose this and if you'd like to continue watching this keep on watching um a lot of us don't have anywhere to go for the next few hours so not that my video is going to be hours long um I I just kind of wanted to show you guys what actually made the cut all right let me show you an oldie but goodie wow I didn't even clean these to show you guys that's really ratchet sorry it's an urban decay palette it is a small palette and I love it um, and I actually want to start using it more um, and when I travel. God, please let me travel again. So this palette is probably one of the first high-end pack palettes that I ever bought, if not the highest, if not the very first one. Uh, so it's got some really interesting shades. As you can see right here, you've got like these purples and peach and blue and gold and blacks and greens and all kinds of stuff. Uh, one of the things that drew me to it so much is that you can actually use it during the winter, you know, with like smoked out looks and some silver. It's also like good for the fall because you've got these like beautiful golds and the silver and holidays, right? You could also use it in the summer with the greens and the purples and the peach. I mean, this is just a beautiful, beautiful palette and it's tiny and you can travel with. And honestly, I've gotten some really nice looks out of it. I was actually going through my Instagram when I first started like using a lot of like heavy eyeshadow and things like that. Like this was my jam. And for that reason, it made it to my favorites because I can still get a lot of use out of it. And it's it's actually gonna stay here. Rock with me. Let's move on. So another oldie but goodie. And all these are actually great for traveling. Um, now, I don't remember what I paid for this, but I'm assuming it was somewhere in the like 
20 to 30 dollar range that sounds fair um also the dose of color i love sarai collab i absolutely love this palette and i actually used to travel with this palette when i would go to vegas and like that's pretty much where i go the majority of the time when i do travel during the summer it's usually vegas so with that said again it's super compact it's super small it's great for traveling um it's got a nice mirror on it and the colors is are so fabulous and i mean there's only like and actually using it today so i'm using the orangey and then i'm using this darker one and then i put on some of the green so these are obviously the most basic colors and you can actually use these every day these could actually be an everyday color um i love the dark i love the green i love this green it's like one of my favorite greens so i would decide to keep it because i do absolutely love the collection with karen it's just one of my faves and i love it for and i want to keep it so when i when i travel i can take it with me okay so i'm showing you guys these because these are actually were pretty low end i should not say that not that they're low end because they are a dose of color, but they're not going to cost you 40 or $50. You know what I mean? Like it's a good range. Also the dream street, dream street palette with my Kathleen lights with color pop. Now this one doesn't have a mirror, but that's okay. I really don't mind that at all to be completely honest with you. And look at all these colors. They are so springy and summery. And hell, you can even use it in the fall. I mean, look at all the beautiful colors. So this is definitely here to stay. And I am committing myself to start using these palettes more, especially as spring and summer are approaching. Well, spring is here. Summer's coming. Can't wait for summer. Absolutely love the sweet, the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Like this palette is oh my god so beautiful so amazing so many great shades you can use it at any time of the year as well and it's here to stay and i've actually traveled a lot with this palette and it's never done me wrong all right i'm getting to my ultimate favorite palettes of all time okay of all time the dose of color Dang, I have a lot of Dose of Color. This is like, well, my second. Some seems like a lot. Dose of Color, the Friend Friend the Friendcation palette by Dose of Color, uh, the collab with Desi and Katie. These co and then it comes with a really nice mirror. But oh my gosh, you guys, these colors. I love shimmer. I love shimmery eyeshadows. Yes, I do like my matte stuff, but for the most part, you will always find me with a glittery shade when I'm actually like trying to get dolled up and stuff, it's always gonna have some sort of shimmer to it. I am obsessed, like, again, another palette that you can use all year round, which is why I'm keeping it. I love the packaging, one of my ultimate favorites, which brings me to the last ultimate favorite when it comes to palettes, like eyeshadow palettes. I actually found a whole bunch of like single palette or single eyeshadows I used to purchase from MAC. Those I still have to sort through. I don't have the energy to sort th through those right now, but I will get to those eventually. I'm just talking about palettes. Okay, moving on. The Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This is my newest palette and probably my favorite palette. And I'm gonna tell you why. So I don't care about that. They have a nice mirror, but I don't care about the mirror because it's like, I don't really use them like that. I will use it usually use my eyeshadow like this and then I start and then I have like an actual light setting in my bathroom but anyway these colors are so gorgeous this is definitely more of a palette that you could wear in the fall um some summer too because of the nice gold and they have a lot of great transition colors so that's why for me it was definitely gonna it was definitely one of my favorite um, palettes just every color on here is so gorgeous and I haven't gone to really play with it all that much but I really want to commit myself to start doing that this year that's over palettes the ones that I'm resurrecting all right guys so I can't show you a my makeup revivals or resurrections 
uh, without showing you some of my ultimate favorite lipsticks of all time. And this takes me way back, like, oof. This takes me about five, six, seven years back, okay? Now let's start with like some pinky colors, okay? I am totally reviving these this summer. I don't care. I plan, okay? My plan is to not buy lipsticks uh, or anything like that for the remainder of the year. And it is only, as of tomorrow, it'll be April. Yes, because I'm planning on reviving all my favorite lipsticks. All right, this is the oldie but goodie. This one's called Candy Yum Yum. I used to be like an ultimate Mac girl. I never worked for a Mac or anything like that, but I was like an ultimate Mac girl. Let me show you the shade. It's like a, it's like a bright ass pink. That's the pink color. I used to love this color. Oh, okay. Another one of my ultimate favorites and I cannot wear it to start. I cannot wait to start using this by Mac, of course. It's called Lady Danger. It is the most amazing, ready, orangey, like amazing color. I was already playing with them earlier. So that's how I decided like which one was going, which one was staying. Oh, I used to love that so much. I also loved uh, Russian Red, which is like a more of like a wine red, more of like a dark burgundy-ish type of red. And I used to wear it a lot with my other favorite. It's called Sin. Now Sin is definitely more on the burgundy side, but I used to wear these two together. Like I would start off with Russian Red and add a little bit of Sin to it like that was my jam moving on to nudes yacht i think it's called yacht yash or yacht it's more of a matte that was it i used to love this i still like to pair that with spice or strip down and then peach stock oh my gosh peach stock was like that right there Look how gorgeous that is. That is such a beautiful color. Ugh. This is when I used to, and I used to wear these colors when I used to wear like smoky eye like every fucking day. Whirl, oh my gosh, I loved Whirl. Whirl was, is it Whirl? No, this is Peach Stock. Wait, didn't I already show you Peach No, I, used to, I showed you Yash. Peach Stock, now Peach Stock and Yash to me, like, we're really similar, but, like, the thing was to have, like, a hundred shades of nude back then. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody would wear that smoky eye, you know, since the Kardashians had really, well, Kim really had brought in that smoky eye. Whirl, though, is a little bit darker, but was, like, my color in, the, in like, the fall and winter. Like, that was my jam. I also really love this one because all I needed was to put it on with um, like a lip gloss or a lip or a lip liner and the lip liner of choice was Spice. This guy right here, it was a special edition. It was like a Star Trek and it's called Frost Lipstick. It's just called Frost Lipstick. L-L-A-P. I don't know. I don't know if it has any correlation with star trek but that was right there that was my jam too and then these are more like recent favorites of mac um i would say within the last few years this one is definitely uh it's called it's a luster sheer luster sea sheer this guy is so beautiful and so natural it's coming on really dark on camera on the camera but it's actually like a really nice soft um color that you could wear this with like a no makeup makeup type of look and then aloof is another uh luster type of color so it's very like glossy and shiny and that's this color right here Super beautiful. Also a shade that you can do a no makeup, like no makeup, no makeup, makeup type of look. So those are like my ultimate favorite, like 
uh, MAC lipsticks. There was other, uh, uh, there were definitely others that did not make the cut because there's, those are just colors that are just not colors that I see myself rocking with at all. There's Cyber, which is like a purple. There's Flat Out Fabulous, which is like a really intense hot pink. And they're in the maybe pile, so. There's other ones that didn't even make the maybe pile. Uh, the ones in the maybe pile, we'll see what happens later in the year. Um, but I had so much fun like digging through all my lipsticks and all my palettes and realizing like, why is that? would you buy any more makeup this year like you have so much makeup to go through there is absolutely no reason for you to be freaking buying anything the only thing that of course i'm gonna buy are like foundations because you know you burn out of those because you use them every day and like concealers and stuff like that but even with all the things that i have i may not even really need to buy anything outside of concealers concealer and foundation are the only two things that like I'm obviously gonna buy, but I do not see myself buying like any bronzers or anything like that unless somebody comes out with some really amazing stuff, okay? There's other brands that are on here that like, ooh, yes, Dose of Color. Dose of Color, this, um, this is the one I'm wearing that I've been wearing all video except for right now that I added that sheer aloof. Uh, Dose of Color, Old Flame, this beautiful, like, burnt orangey color. Oof. Girl, this I need to repurchase because this one is pretty much gone. This is right here. And look at that beautifulness. Like, it is so freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love this. I'm not even wearing eyeliner, lip, I'm not even wearing lip liner or anything. Like, this is just it. I know I really need to wax my Upper lip. Okay. Okay. Another one that I busted out the other day and I actually put it posted on my Instagram is Aesthetic with I Love Sarai. I have to rock that. Like, yeah, these are here to stay. These are gonna come back. And then another one was More Creamer Please. Um, the collection with those crazy broads more creamer please i love it that was from the collection with um desi and katie not to mention it came with the, um i bought the gloss with it that's the gold one i actually found it um yeah like those two together are like and this one alone like uh, yeah making a comeback that wraps things up for me guys thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video thank you so much for your support um i had so much fun just going through my old makeup with you guys and really just working with what we have right now like with our groceries like i'm gonna go through my pantry and basically start using all the things that i've just been kind of keeping there for a while because one it's nice not to have to go out into the street and expose ourselves um, for groceries, obviously there'll be things that you have to keep buying. Um, but if you can avoid leaving the house as much as possible, please do that. It's all about repurposing for me right now. Like I'm at a stage where it's like, I have so much. Thank you, Lord. God has blessed me with so much. I don't want to mishandle my money. You know what I mean? So for me right now, like I have so much already that I'm just going to keep using what I have and not buy anything going forward for a while <laughs> so thank you again guys i love you so much i'll see you on the next and i am working on a fashion video tub haul so stay tuned for that love you guys stay safe